I am the Corn Stalker, the harvester of souls and sorrows. And it is my time to come alive for Jaden's video's Halloween. <laughs> Hello world for me, this is Jaden from Jade's Videos, back with another Wolfman review, and I just got back from Cracker Barrel, Barrel, and they have their Halloween stuff out, which is absolutely amazing. They have their Halloween in, so if you want to go see Cracker Barrel's Halloween, go run up to your local Cracker Barrel, because they have some very awesome stuff this year. So I just got back, and I picked up this. Now this is probably one of my favorite things Cracker Barrel has this year. They have a lot of cool stuff this year. I have a in-store walkthrough if you want to go check that out. It's going to be uploaded right before this one, but they have a lot of cool stuff this year. Uh, so another thing I really liked was a butler, a new animated butler for this year with a candy tray. But this is definitely one of the coolest things there, and this one is the cheapest one that I like the best. These are the animated books, as it says there. Uh, really, they're called the haunted books, is what us haunters refer to them as. But it says on the box, animated books, but they're really the haunted books, like I already said. These are really awesome, and I really like them. And we'll take a better look at them, and I'll talk about them more once I get them out of the package. But I want to show the package first. These are made by... Jemmy, I believe. I believe these are Jemmy. Because I know... I believe the company that made the original versions of these were Jemmy. They were at Spirit Halloween 2009 and Party City in 2009. And, um... They were uh, creepier looking versions, but these ones are still really cool. And I still really like these ones a lot. These ones have, uh... You know, like, cool Halloween books on them, and I like it a lot. They're like cool Halloween books. But here's the box, of course, the Jemmy. If this is, Je I believe it's Jemmy, because this is the Jemmy box. So yes, this is Jemmy. The Jemmy 2017 Halloween box. It says animated books. Try me with the bat, of course, one piece. Books move and tilt, make spooky sound effects, sound and motion activated. And yes, it is Jemmy right there. And it's the same thing on all the sides except for the back, of course, because you got the barcode and that. You know, I want to be careful with that. I don't want to break it. I'm gonna get this out. I'm going to take this out and we'll have a better look at it. And I am going to take it out right here right now. And it looks like that twist tie is already undone, which is kind of strange. This was the best one uh, in the store. They were Both of them at the store were working perfectly fine. They just got them in stock like last night. I called. They said they were getting them. So this is like day one of them having their Halloween out. So they just got all their Halloween in last night so this is day one of having it out so of course they're going to be working perfectly fine but this one I got this one I'm you know what I'm just gonna cut this that would be a lot easier I got this one instead of the other one because the other one had some uh, the stickers on the books here they were kind of it was kind of peeling off well it was it really wasn't really peeling off, it just had some scratch marks, and of course I want the best looking one possible, but they both worked the same, they both work perfectly, so, I don't want to destroy this box, but that one twist tie was like, in a very weird position, and it wouldn't come off for some reason, yeah, these twist ties are like, these are some weird twist ties. They're like twisted where they shouldn't be twisted. I don't know why. You know what? I'm just going to cut that. Okay. Finally got it out. Alright. So. Wow, that is really cool. I like that. That's awesome. So these are the books out of the package. I'm going to look at the bottom first just to see what that's all about since I didn't see that before. Of course the battery compartment right here, there's actually two battery compartments. There's one on this side, one on this side. So I'd assume two batteries go in both. There's a sensor, which is good, of course. Uh, of course you would assume that there's a sensor. I'm not sure, okay, the sensor is right under the try me button. And the speaker's on the bottom. 
It's not an extremely loud prop, but it doesn't really need to be loud because in a haunt, people are still going to like it by just looking at it and just seeing what seeing what it does and stuff like that. It doesn't need to be loud to be cool. These are really cool though. I'm going to look at the back. I'm going to show you guys the back right now because why not? It's the most plain side. Save the best for last. It's just white backs, the backs of the books. I wish they would have made these uh, parts that are supposed to be the paper look more like actual paper. They're just white and they don't have any like detail on them or anything. But it doesn't really matter because in a haunt you're going to see them like this. And it's hard to even tell that there's not really detail or anything like that. Or even just in any Halloween display. They're going to be facing forward of course. So no one's really going to see the back at all. And if they see the tops, well of course they'll see the tops a little bit because this book uh, tilts out, which I'll show what it does in a minute. If they see the tops a little bit, it's it's perfectly fine. This side of this one looks really cool with the monster teeth. And then you've got your little monster there, that's the side of that book. And this side, Trick or Treat Stories, Candy Corn is the author. I like that little Halloween pun. And you've got the jack-o'-lantern face. Now for the front of these, you have Monster Tales. Uh, this is actually the one, this is by Roar Moore. Uh, this is the one, this book has the try me button and the sensor. <clears throat> right here, one of my favorite ones, M mostly, hold on, mostly ghostly legends. And the author is, they, they've got a lot of pun authors. You'll be scared. The Big Book of Ghouls, Ghosts, Witches, Vampires, Reapers, Skeletons, Black Cats, Scarecrows, Monsters. I really like this author. I really like this one because of that author. hal o -ween. That's really, uh, that's really cool. This one, of course, is Trick or Treat Stories, and it's by Candy Corn. I like the cobwebbing on this one, too. I really like the designs to all of these books. I've got to say, this one, this book right here with the ghost, that's probably my favorite design. This is my favorite book because it does the most, but this is probably my favorite design with the ghost and the Victorian looking uh, look of the book. So without further ado, I suppose I will demo this prop for you, and it is very cool. It's these books in the middle here, they're like on a module that kind of pushes out. From what I've seen, I only looked at it in the car. When I <clears throat> I just I looked at the module in the car, so I'm not really sure if I saw the whole way that it works, but from what I saw, I believe these push out on a module and then this kind of lifts up. It's really cool and very creepy. The in the audio, there's also some like ghost wispy type sounds, maybe like it's kind of like a ghost breathing. In the background it's very hard to hear, it's very faint but you can hear it. And then when this book lifts up, it makes a creaking sound, which I think is really cool how this book lifts up because it looks like a ghost is like maybe examining the book or trying to take the book down off of the shelf. I don't know, it's just really cool. Just, it, it's totally different than the haunted books that I own. The haunted books I own it just has one book that just goes in and out, in and out. I do think that's a cool prop, but this one, that two books go in and out, and then one book tilts out like it's falling off of the shelf, like a ghost is pushing it off, and I think it looks really cool. So I'm going to demo it for you right now. So it's really cool, and like I said, I really love the audio track, I love the creaking when this one falls out, and the like breathing of the ghost, that's very faint. It also sounds like a little bit at some points, I know that there's music playing, but the music sounds like it might be a song from Ghostbusters actually. I don't know how they'd get the rights to that, but that's just what it sounds like. 
I'm not sure if it actually is, but it does definitely sound like a song that's from Ghostbusters. I'll have to listen to it a few more times to figure it out. But on the Wolfman Review rating scale, really the only issue that I have with this thing uh, is probably the, how they didn't really detail the pages. Uh, I wish they would have detailed the pages better. So on the Wolfman Review rating scale, I'm going to give this a 4.5 out of five claw marks because this is a really cool prop and if you haven't already go check your Cracker Barrel because chances are they will have their Halloween because I know pretty much every Cracker Barrel that didn't already have their Halloween got their Halloween in today because I know Haunt Station went and his Cracker Barrel had Halloween today Haunt Former went his had Halloween well he might have Haunt Former might have went to the same one as me since we live in the same area but I think he went to a different one and, of course, I went and mine had it. So, most Cracker Barrels are getting them this weekend. So, if you haven't checked already, go to your Cracker Barrel and see if they have their Halloween because they have a lot of cool stuff this year. And you can go check my in-store walkthrough along with Haunt Stations, Haunt Formers, and a few other people that are on there. But Haunt Station and Haunt Former are the two I mentioned in this video to see their walkthroughs of Cracker Barrel's Halloween 2017 as well. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Keep howling at the moon, my werewolves. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. fair and you're making me angry but maybe if you subscribe to Jaden's videos and join the werewolf army I'll let you live another day but it's not guaranteed <laughs>